Hey guys, it's Risto, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making some more particles. Yes, guys, I know, it's been a while, but there's been a lot of stuff going on. I've had my hands full with so many projects. Uh, I think four, basically. There's a third one that I'm almost done with, but there's four, basically, uh, right now. Now, there's a lot of other stuff that's kind of kept me off of YouTube as well. Like, YouTube, I guess, is just... I've gotten burnt out from doing YouTube and having to worry about Roblox games and stuff, and that's a that's the thing. I need simple ideas I can do for videos that are just you know like I can record in less than an hour and just have them up the next day, because that's the problem. I would always make videos that I'd get burnt out from. For example, I would make the city, uh, city one took a bit of work. Particles when I do a lot of particles that takes a bit of work. Speed building <laughs> that takes a lot of work. Um, yeah, so I'd like to do more stuff that I can just make quick little videos on, like plug-in videos, um, Roblox Little Studio, like features I didn't know about, uh, particles, obviously, lighting, whatever. Um, I'm trying to avoid big building videos right now. Maybe some Blender modeling t uh, tutorials, but for now, uh, we're just going to go with uh, a particle video, obviously, today. But leave your ideas in the comments. But anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so here we go. We have a kind of a, a new particle pack just because me uh, uploading these particles wasn't really working. But this is a uh, Bingus particle pack. <laughs> um, yeah, so this has a bunch of particles. Uh, a lot of particles we'll need for this electricity particle, this lightning particle. Now, the thing with uh, electricity or lightning particles is that it always has a very, very fast rate with a very short lifetime now to start off we're just gonna grab this lightning particle right here this is probably my favorite out of the whole bunch it's really stylized and it kind of looks like an anime uh, like particle effect we're gonna go ahead and throw this in our particle and we'll increase the size quite a bit so we're actually gonna start off by making it kind of okay so first we actually no first thing first thing let's reduce the life the lifetime I can't speak today part transparent there we go it's already looking a little better but we want the size to kind of jump up immediately and then kind of uh, kind of fade out I guess I don't know something like that so you want the particle to kind of spawn very quickly but then not last a super long we can increase the speed of this we can give it a completely random rotation negative 360 to 360 it's probably not the best. Let's actually just do like negative 50 to 50. It's a little better. And we will have some rotation speed. We'll just go about like 50 or something. Now, now that we have that, we can add a little bit of spread angle. This is already kind of looking like some interesting electricity. Go ahead and add some light emission. Remove the light influence. Crank that up a little bit. There we go. I don't know why I did 0.56. And then uh, we can also add some transparency just because, you know, like lightning wouldn't be... Actually, you know what? I think I might look better without transparency. Just very, very slightly at the uh, the beginning and end. So go ahead and put that there. There we go. Now it fades out kind of quickly at the end. And we will even drop the lifetime even shorter. But increase the rate. And then increase the speed. It's already looking pretty cool. Let's just shrink this down. And we'll go ahead and add some more spread angle. Let's see how that looks. Even more speed. We're going to have even more speed. There we go. Now it's kind of like a spout of electricity almost. Now, this is looking pretty good, but we got to put it in combination with other particles, remember? So, we're going to grab a little kind of electricity spark, I think. So, let's see which one we can use. We could use this one. This one is good. We could also use one of these. These are horizontal versions. Let's just grab one of these. Let's grab this one. We'll duplicate our particle and we'll change the texture to this. We'll also have to change the color just because the other one's a color. Something similar. There we go. And we will squash it just a little bit. Actually, I have to do it in the opposite direction. But we will reduce the size more than that one just because it is a bit of a smaller particle and we will have more way more spreading on this one and not as much speed 
There we go. That's kind of going crazy. That looks pretty interesting. Uh, now I really want to have some sort of big glowing sort of effects. So I'm not sure exactly what to do for that. But I think if we want some sort of kind of electricity like glow. I don't know. We want to say, we want to say glow. Dude, glowing would look really cool. Alright, I was thinking we could just get something like this. Maybe it's like more of a fire, but it looks pretty cool. Or we could just go with uh, something. Maybe this would look interesting. Let's try this out. Not sure how this is going to look, because this is kind of more of a... For, uh, for smoke, I guess. So we can decrease the speed. And increase the lifetime. And then we'll just reduce the transparency by a lot. We want it to be very transparent. Because we don't want it to kind of overwhelm it. And then we'll make it blue, of course. Just like the other one. I just realized we did that on the wrong... We didn't duplicate it. Oopsies. Let's try that again. There we go. That's already looking better. Now, I think we should have just have some big kind of lightning sort of particles that shoot out every once in a while. So we'll grab this one. And we'll do the same thing for this first particle we had. Which should be this one. Yes. Didn't mean to... Again. Okay, yeah, so I, got, I haven't done particles in quite a while. I'm kind of losing my grip with it. Uh, let's duplicate it. And then we'll add this texture. And obviously, that's way too much. So we're going to reduce the rate to about 5. And we'll increase the lifetime, I think. I'll increase the lifetime and reduce the speed. Size will make it even bigger. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. A uh, little bit, maybe too crazy. But I feel like we should have more of a concentration down here with kind of lightning trailing off. So I feel like we can do that with sort of these. Oh, these would be really cool. I'm gonna try something, guys, here. So this looks pretty cool. What if we had sort of like bolts shooting out that were still attached to the particles? Let's try this. I'm gonna move all these particles, except for one. I might get this texture. Uh, set this color back to white real quick. There we go. Let's not have any rotation speed. Let's increase the scale or like the squash over uh over the duration of it. So I feel like we could start off like this and then we can have it kind of sort of almost spike out at the end. It'd be pretty neat, I think. Yeah, something like that would be cool. Let's just make sure our size is bigger. We don't want it to get way too small at the end. And we can do reduce the squash just because we did that. There we go. Now we can set our rotation to Probably negative 15 to 15, I don't know. And I forget if we can change the offset. I forget if we can change the, I, I mean, like, not like the, the layer, but the kind of height of the particle. I don't remember. We could probably do that with a, with an attachment, though, which I would like to do. Put this particle in there. And then we'll have our attachment kind of be upwards. I think we should give this way more spread angle though. Probably some speed. I don't know. I'll have to mess around with this because I've never done anything like this. Maybe some, oh, maybe some vertical acceleration. Oh. Uh, there we go. Maybe we can't have an attachment. That's alright. Uh, maybe we'll just put a second part, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, bear with me, guys. Yeah, we're just going to scrap that idea. It did look interesting, but I think this is a lot cooler. Last thing I think we want to do, though, is have some sort of swirling thing, maybe. Um, not sure exactly what. But this is the thing about uh, particles, guys. We always want to layer particles, because that's the coolest part. 
That's when particles really shine, is when you have a bunch of stuff layered together. Uh, I think I will probably make everything a little bit bigger though. Because it was kind of small. Let's just bring these up. Also, this is pretty small. Bigger. And then this one too. That's looking better. Let's just increase the uh, the lifetime for these now. That's pretty cool. I actually like that. I think we should add some squash on some of these particles. I don't know if you could probably couldn't even tell what I was pointing at. It doesn't really matter though. Um, you kind of might get the idea. Let's add some drag on this as well. one is it? There it is. Okay. Let's have some drag onto this one. There we go. Now I want to find this big particle. There we go. Okay. Now I will add some squash when it gets to the end. That looks pretty cool. Now last thing I think is just kind of instead of actually you know getting another particle I think this could be good. I think we just want to have some more kind of scattered bits. Yeah, so let's do this. Let's give it like a 90 degree spread angle. And then even increase the rate more. So it kind of looks like they're flying out everywhere. But then also give them a vertical velocity. Which I think will help. Make it, let's make it, yeah, there we go, okay. Something like that. That's looking awesome. I think that looks really cool. Now let's just mess around with this one in the middle. Okay. There we go. I think it looks awesome. Now we kind of have this sort of effect in the middle. Um, last thing I want to do is just give it a lot of rotation speed, just because this would look really sick. I think. Let's go. Let's go all the way to 360. That looks. That looks pretty sane. It almost looks like a sort of spinning ball of electricity in there, but there's no actual like object in there. I think this is really, really cool, guys. I think this is awesome. I think we're basically done for this. There is just one more kind of smoke particle I would like to add kind of at the bottom. Now that I kind of see this sort of spinning effect, which is probably this one, yep. Now, I don't want to have like any speed on this. Uh, but the spread angle will be like 90 to 90, I guess. There we go, guys. I think it looks really, really cool. That's probably one of my favorite particles I've actually done. So it's kind of like we have this big swirling ball of electricity with kind of sparks going everywhere with kind of this like cloud of dust underneath it. This is probably my favorite particle I've made. Maybe with some like kind of GFX stuff in there that would look even cooler. But let's check this out at nighttime and then give it a little point light. And I think that would be perfect. Now we're just, yeah, now we're just going to do a point light and then we're going to have, we're going to make it very bright. We're going to make it bright blue, of course, something like that. Uh, that's too... Uh, there we go. Make it even brighter, I think. Not, okay, not that bright. This looks pretty sick, though. I'm very, very, very happy with how this turned out. Now, I think we'll just get some glamour shots for the thumbnail. And then, that's it, guys. I really, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give me ideas for more particles and more stuff to do. Please, I'm begging you. Just easy stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, remember to join the Dev Center Discord server. That's our kind of development Discord server. And uh, that's all I have to say. See you in the next one. Peace.